Father, we come before you this day in humbleness. We come before the forgiveness, Father, for anything that we've done that thou hast not pleased us with. And Father, I come before these people this day with a grieved heart of what you told me and commanded me to bring forward. I come before them this day, Father, to give them what you told me to give them. And Father, I'm asking you to move upon the hearts of your people. For nobody hardly is preaching that your coming is soon. But Master, I'm telling them right now, they better be more scared and more feared of your coming. Yes. Than a thing called COVID 19. Because COVID 19, the only thing it can do is take their flesh. You can destroy their soul and flesh and put them in hell. And Father, I'm asking you to move upon the world this day, move upon America. Father, let I this man step back and you increase. Do not let them believe one word I speak until they check it out with you. Father, I'm not a man of this world, but I'm your man. I'm doing what you've commanded me to do. And what I've got to bring forth this day, it grieves my heart, Father, but yet it also gladdens me. Father, I bind every devil of hell right now to come against your people. I bind every demon, every spirit, every imp in the pits of hell that fly through the air that have tried to steal this word. And I give you praise and I give you glory. And Father, I'm asking you let the Holy Ghost reign this day across the plains, across the nations. And I praise you, Holy God, for you're raising up men and women, Father, to fight the battle. And this battle is not with weapons and warfare of this world, but it's spiritual. Father, you're giving people dreams. And they need to heed these dreams. And I give you praise and I give you glory this day as I feel thy presence like I've never felt before. And I praise you, holy God. And I'm asking you to move this day. And I give you these people as I sit back. I feel that. I come before you this day in a grieved heart and a grieved spirit. Two days ago, I believe they called it 9-11. I'm going to tell you all something. God's told me, He's told others, not just me. All the way back in the Word of God, He's told them that this day was coming. He pre-warned His people. And nobody wants to heed this warning. But 9-11 people, you better wake up. It's a, he, it's a warning from God Almighty. And what I've got to say this morning is going to be upset many. But it's also going to gladden many. But I'm telling you, we need to get back with God. If America does not bow back down to God, She's going to be destroyed. Yes. And I'm going to read exactly what God's told me to read, and then I'm going to get in the Word about it. And it does not bother me, but it does. In the heart. Whether you want to believe God's Word or not. It grieves me all the way to the, to the marrow of my bones because... People are dying and you people don't seem to care. All over the world, they're dying for the name of Jesus or just being called a Christian. And you people take this so lightly today. The word Christian means Christ's life. It does not mean Baptist, Pentecost, Catholic, Church of Christ. It means Christ's life. You walk in humility, but boldness of the Spirit God knows when you're to sit down. He knows when you're to shut your mouth. Heed His Word. Heed His warnings. As the Lord has told me, it's all written down. It's not a prophecy. I'm telling you what He told me. He 
told me 9-11 started a domino effect on America and also the world. And you people can't see what's happening. 9-11 has put a hole in the protection of God's wall. It's a spirit protection. But yet, 9-11 done that. Why? Because the immorality of the people, the abomination of the people, had nothing to do with the president, had nothing to do with the government, has to do with the people of God. Because the people of God had quit praying. The people of God had quit praising God. They're taking on religion instead of God. I had somebody ask me, what's, what's it do? What, what's it take to get baptized? And I took her into the Word. You must believe in thine heart first. That Jesus is the Son of God. And speak it out of your mouth. And you'll be saved. You don't have to say some big old long speech prayer. Right. What you gotta do is believe. And you'll be saved. That's what the Word says. But they don't preach this. They want to preach that you got to join a church. You don't got to join no church. You are the church. You're the body of Christ. Many members. Many members to the body. But one head. we got too many heads. Yes. we got a thing today called microwave Jesus. You don't like that term? Tough. Microwave Jesus. Take him out of the refrigerator, put him in the microwave, warm it up, and it gets too warm, then you put him back in the freezer. Because the Spirit of God cannot be controlled. Nine eleven was an attack on Homeland Security, which was God. 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 Not just the people, but God. And nobody wants to see this. It was a hole knocked into the wall of protection. It's a warning. God gave Nineveh a warning. He took Jonah, had to cast him into the fish, but yet he went finally. And Nineveh repented, but then Nineveh turned back. Just like America has done. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit some nerves this morning because God told me to. You're either going one way or the other. You can't go both ways. Not in the wall of protection that was for that our forefathers, our forefathers founded on Jesus. Over, over the years, America has taken God out of everything. Listen to me. When you remove God, you remove the wall. Every city in the Old Testament had a wall around it, a protection. Well, we had a spiritual wall around America until 9-11. I'm going to get even... We're going to go right straight to the source here in a minute, period. And it's going to upset some of you people. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm neither Pentecost, Catholic. I'm a son of God, just like you're supposed to be. But I'm also, I'm neither Democrat, Republican, or Libertarian, or whatever you want to call yourself. You've got to be neutral with God and God in the forefront. Yeah. You, if you go vote, you vote for the policy, not for the man. Right. Right. The policies that he stands for. Mm -hmm. All of you want to fight over two or three men, trying to run for this, run for that. Yeah. Why don't you get back on your knees and your face bowed before God with your arms stretched out at the weeping wall, the wedding wall. And God will change things. He don't even hear your prayers. Why in the 
world would hear of your prayers when you got blood upon your hands. Thank God out of everything, including the churches. Number one, the churches. God's not in these churches no more. He's read Ichabod by many of the doors. No longer here. The Spirit, no longer here. Gets upset. That's up between you and God right now. The schools. It really saddens my heart that when I was in grade school, all the way in almost to high school, we said the Lord's Prayer first. And everybody knew that prayer. In a box hole in Normandy, they knew that prayer. They prayed that prayer because they knew that they were going to die. Forgive us. Forgive us. But these children do not know that prayer today. You know why? Because the schools don't teach it. The families don't teach it. The churches don't even teach it. Come on. Let's get real. Let's get with the plan. I'm telling you right now, God is displeased with these people that are called by His name. America used to be a fortified city, a nation that founded on God. And you're all worried about a virus. You better be more worried about what's going to happen in the days coming. Because it's getting darker and darker and darker because you have forsaken God. Oh, God never made me forsake me. It's not that. You've forsaken God. The schools, our government, we have taken government and thrown it away. We've separated church and state. We have actually let ungodly men, possessed men of demons of hell, lead our people. Yes. And you people think it's nothing strange. It is strange. It shouldn't ever be. But I ain't done yet. Government and out of society. We've taken God out of society. Then we talk about God in the streets. They're so scared. Oh, I might better not say that. It might offend somebody. Oh, well. Bendigo, Shadrach, and Meshach. They didn't care whether it offended them or not. Daniel prayed when they told him not to. He didn't care if it offended them. It really bothers me that we close the church doors. The only place of refuge, really, anymore. Just because they were told to shut them. Because somebody said we had a virus that's going to kill everybody. The moment they said it, boy, everybody run through panic. It's sad. We have forsaken God. And out of society, remove the Ten Commandments. Oh, yeah. Out of all of our official squares and buildings. So now, so now they kill one another out on the streets and they get glorified. Yeah. Yeah. Thou shalt not kill. So then the policeman shoots a crook, and the policeman, since he's good on the good part of it, they crucify him. That don't make sense, y'all. It's because you have forsaken God. You've thrown God out. Who are we going to give Him to? The Israelites gave Him to who? Us. Go on. 9 11 was a wake up call from God. But it fell on deaf spiritual ears. The spiritual ears. Not these ears. He said, my people, my sheep will not hear a stranger's voice. For some reason, 
we have been deceived by the preachers behind the pulpits and the prophets of man of Baal. These prophets prophesying that all these good things are coming. I got news for you. They're going to go to hell right along with you if you listen to them. Ain't very many of us standing up. God has commissioned me to warn you people. I might be that angel warning you. You don't know. The time is soon to stand still and not your time. God's time. When God says that's it, that's it. I see God showed me an hourglass, a gigantic hourglass. It was made out of gold inlaid. There was sand, gold sand running through it. It had that much more sand left, y'all. I'm telling you, you better wake up and get out on your face before God and repent. Let me go on. Now America will reap a whirlwind of plagues and destruction. We are another Babylon. And this Babylon will not be spiritual. You will also find America in Revelation chapter 14, verse 8. Here, Babylon, that great city, has fallen. Well, I'm telling you, here, O oh America, your fiction of fall. You know what's sad? America. 9-11. Oh man, they all run to the churches. Remember? Yeah. But there was no repentance. They all run. Because they knew to run to the church. But the preachers didn't preach repentance. So a month or two, right back like they were. Yeah. Let's rebuild. Let's just build it stronger. Let's Let's build a, a, a replica. Let's build this. Let's build that. But they didn't repent. Ground zero was a warning to the nations because New York City is the gateway of the world, y'all. And we've let it down. Oh, I'm, got, I'm going to get even more. You also find America, Revelation chapter 18, 1 through 19. That great city of Babylon has fallen, has fallen. Be a den of dragons, den of unicorns. Come on, I'm going to get real with you people. The unicorn is a spirit straight from hell, and you have been glorified it. The dragons, y'all glorify. Tame your dragon. You cannot tame, tame Satan. That's right. Satan is that great dragon, and you people don't even realize it. So you just put him on your shelves. You put him on your walls. Come on, let's get real. Nobody wants to tell you the truth. I'm here to tell you the truth. These things are spiritual. Said when in Isaiah, when the bullets come down the unicorn, the land will be soaked with blood. Yep. You better start looking around you, people. Look at your land; it's being soaked with blood. Yes. It's not even a unicorn doing it. It's people. Mm -hmm. They're burning. They're destroying. They're beating people half to death. But no, nobody sees what's going on. God has moved His hand of protection off because they went right back like they were doing. Even worse. Then, and I'm going to get, I don't care if you get mad at me or not, but I'm going to tell you exactly what God told me. Is that alright? Thank you. 
There's no pulling to the spirit or anything. And all they want to do is dance around. And they do that on the dance floor. Yes. Come on. The ones going to stand before God is going to be singing the, the song of Moses. Not going to be singing whatever they're singing today. These songs are not of God. They will call them worship songs. That ain't worshiping God. God says He dwells in the praises. Yeah. You worship God by on your face before God with your hands stretched out. That's how you worship God. Everything you do, you do for the name of Jesus. You don't ever hear that name no more, are you? It is that the same. Take not the Lord thy God's name in vain. And they're using God's name any which way they want to. Yep. I guarantee there's many places filled right now for entertainment and they got that are putting it over God's name. Come on. That's not God. I'm telling you, and now America is no different than the city of Nineveh. And also the ancient Israel. Israel means people. It don't mean a, a, a state. God destroyed the first Israel. Come on. Boy, that, boy, that hit nerve, didn't it? That's so worried about Israel over there. You better worry about America. You know why? Because God will take care of Israel. God will take care of you if you're not careful. I'm telling you, wake up. We are also of Israel. The people, not a state. We are also Israel if you're reborn. Yeah. You're also the seed of Abraham if you're reborn. There's that big little old two-letter word, if. Bigger than this building, yeah. if. Yeah. When God uses me to prophesy to you, I sometimes say, but. But. If you do not do what God says, this is what's going to happen. The moment I tell you this, it's off of me. That's right. And it's off of me today when I'm telling you this right now. You better heed God's warning. Some of you that's in the range of my voice are going to die before this month's over with. And you'll go straight into judgment. The moment you die, you're going to stand before Jesus Christ. I don't care whether you believe it or not. You sure ain't gonna come out of that grave. You're already there. When you get saved, and I'm not talking about joining some church organization, I'm talking about actually getting saved by the Spirit of God, you become a saint. Yep. You don't have to have some Catholic pope or priest making you a saint. Yeah. When you get saved and reborn, you become a saint of God. It's biblical. Come on. Oh no, we gotta let man do that for us, don't we? I tell you now that the same ones working in our country, called America, right now, are the same as in Nineveh is the demon possessed party called ISIS. Ooh. I don't care whether you believe it or not. You need to get in the Word. You think these demons aren't real. You're wrong. You don't think these spirits are alive and doing well. You're wrong. These demons don't die. They go from one generation to the next. Yeah. That's what's wrong three-fourths of our people. Come on. That's what's wrong three-fourths of our children. They're possessed by hereditary spirits. But this demon of Isis is a full-fledged war god. Yeah. And it don't care who it destroys. And you want to lay down in bed with this thing? But that's the same spirit that's working in America right now. And you people are so blind you can't see it. You can take it up with God. God give me this. God give it to me. Word 
more work. And I'm not the only one He's given it to. There's others. God's given others dreams about what's fixing to happen to America because of abominations and the stench of the immorality of the people calling themselves godly. Come on! We're going to get real today. This is America that we're talking about. This is, this is the end. You want me to tell you the end? God's going to have a handful that will not bow down to these pagan idols. And they will die for His name's sake. Believe me. I told y'all years back that this day was coming. Oh, that man's crazy. Well, they called my father crazy too. And they crucified him. Come on. We need to really start praying, y'all. We need to start getting down on our face and praying. I don't care whether you pray in tongues, I don't care whether you pray in spirit, but you better start praying. Listen, and y'all listen to me closely. It will not be long. Yes, Father. It will not be long. God has showed it to me. They're going to come into your houses and they're going to drag you people out. Oh, that can't happen in America. Well, look what's happened. Come on. It's fixing to happen. You think this vaccine they're coming out with is a miracle from God? No. You people better wake up. You know you trust God. In Acts, there's many of the disciples, many of the people were sick and out of death, but God seemed fit. Let me read that again. God seemed fit to heal them. But we don't have the faith of a mustard seed. We don't have the faith of an avocado seed. Come on. What's another big seed? Oh, a coconut. Oh, God, you didn't hear me, so I'm going to do what I want to do. Here's how they pray to God. Got the back like this to look at that. That's how they pray to God. Nineteen eighties is when it started. Okay? God sent a spirit into the churches that they did not want to believe my truth. They did not want the Holy Ghost. I will send them a spirit of deceit. Come on. Hang it up with Him. I'm telling you word for word what He's telling me to tell you today. The name of that spirit is called Father God. And every one of you, every one of you churches out there, it's in there. Because you have disobeyed your father. Yes, Father. I'm here to warn you. If you do not repent, you're going to find that spirit in hell with you. It's the same spirit that's deceived Ahab's. Prophets. It's a lying spirit, and you have accepted it with four arms, with blessings. And only time you it's recognizable is when you start praying or you start praising God. Yeah. That's the only time. And when you do this, you begin to see, and you're praising Osiris, yeah. the underworld of God. I don't care whether you believe it or not. It ain't up to me. It's not up to me because I'm going to answer to God. Yeah. I will not answer to you. Uh, Let me go on. If America does, does if America does heed the repentance call, if she does not, there's two ways here. If she'll heed, good. But if she does not heed, she is doomed. I'm 
tell you, as a man of God, as a prophet of the living God, you better heed it. Now, let, me, let me read y'all something. It's in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 13. Y'all need to mark these scriptures down. And I mean really take to God. Don't take don't take to one another. Take to God. And see what God's trying to tell you. What did I say? For the people turneth not unto him that smiteth them. Neither do they seek the Lord of hosts. See, they're trying to do, they're trying to not turn to the ones that hit America. I'm just going to bring it out. But they're also not turn to God. All right, we got we're doing our own thing. We'll do whatever we want to do. We don't need God. We don't need these other people. We just put them in the government. These people he's talking about is the ones that bombed us. Only difference is we're talking about Israel back right here. Who do you think you are? History is repeating itself. Yeah. Therefore, the Lord will cut off from Israel head and tail. Now let me reword that. Therefore, the Lord will cut off from America. Head and tail. Branch and brush in one day. In one day. It happens. In one day. It's called 9 11. I'm not the only one God's showing this to you. I've had dreams, I've had visions about this stuff. And I'm bringing it out just like God told me to bring it out. Whether you like it, whether you agree or not, it's off of me. It's on you now. And you'll be held accountable for what it's being said. I won't. Because tonight, I'll go home crying. Because I know many people are up here. Cause them to err. 
and they that are led of them are destroyed. There is so much hate right now in the land. It's unreal. Yes. Mm -hmm. in, in the Word it says there will be many. The love of many. The love of many shall wax cold in the last days. Mm -hmm. The love of many. You know what really brought, breaks my heart when we had leaders? And I'm going to name names. They don't care. I'm going to be held accountable. Maxine Waters. Is that her name? She's a black lady, I think up in Washington, D.C. She's a congressman or a senator or something. She actually stated, harass these people. Harass them if they go in the restaurant. Harass them if they, if they like Trump. You know, that's crazy. Yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure that's who it was. Harass these people. Yeah. And so the people do it. Not look at the outcome. The one telling them is not the one going to be in trouble. Right. It's the one doing it. Right. Yeah. That's how ignorant people are. Mm -hmm. That's how far away from God they are because they don't hear anything but man. That is sad. Therefore, the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. Look at these young men today. Look at them. Neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. Look what's going on, y'all. There's no mercy. There's no love. For everyone is a hypocrite. That's pretty plain. That's plain. This is the, this is the Isaiah, y'all. 400 years before Jesus. Something like that. But he's talking about America. For everyone is a hypocrite and an, and an evildoer. And they want to call it BLM. That don't make sense. They're being led by a spirit straight from hell. Come on. Let me tell you all of you something out there. Every man, woman, and child, listen to me, all across the world and the nation, in God, I said in God, there's neither male nor female, black, white, yellow, brown, yellow, purple, polka dotted. Only one thing, and that's the Spirit of God in you. And every one of you, hate is learned. God did not put that hate in you to hate another human. Yeah. Come on. You know, they want to call a homosexual or sodomites gay. But when I was going to school, gay man happy. Yeah. So we just listen to man, we rewrite history. We rewrite words. The same one it's destroying right now in America. It's the same one that destroyed Nineveh. And they took the statues out. First statue they took out in Nineveh was Jonah. There used to be a statue in Nineveh. Prophet Jonah. You know why? Because Jonah wanted to turn them yeah. by the Spirit of God. But they took that out. You cannot destroy history. And that's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. It's the same spirit. I don't care whether you want to believe it or not. Get in the history books. I didn't learn this history book, though. I'm sorry. You need to read it. It's here. This is the only history you need right here. speaking folly. Kill, 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 kill. And then now we've got other people, well, I'm sorry I'm born this. Oh, God help me. I'm sorry. Forgive me for being born white. Forgive me for being born Mexican. Come on, you people. What is wrong with you? 
You can't change your spots. A leopard cannot change its spots. Why don't you love one another? Come on. All this is that anger is not, his anger is not turned away. God's hand is fixed to come down like you have never seen before. It's called judgment. Judgment. I tell you how far we are from God. We as American people or as a country stood as a beacon light to the world. To the world. We was the most powerless nation on the world in the world because of God. It wasn't because of men. And we pulled people to it. That's what that Statue of Liberty stands for. Freedom. Freedom from what? Freedom from being anchored down and killed and doing this. And now we're destroying that. And now, that statue of liberty is standing in the bay going like this. Grounded. Grounded. Because she represented liberty and a haven for the poverty and the souls of the people of all over the world to come here. But, they had to be pulled. They tried to escape depression and oppressed. But no, it's not like that now. Let them all in. Tear down that statue. Let them all in. Put them in our government. Put them in our government. Bring in their culture. Bring in their God. Put them in our government. They, the, the, the government rules over these people and they're so stupid and so blind they don't, they don't see what we're doing put them in the government come on I'm going to make some people mad this morning but I'm telling you right now these people are here to destroy you yeah. if they don't do not serve the same God that we have instituted through the centuries they're here to destroy you But his hand is still stretched out, y'all. God is still saying, come. I don't care whether you want to believe it or not. His hand is still stretched out. Jesus said, knock. I'm knocking. I'm knocking. If any man here, open the door. And I'll come in and sup with him. He's still knocking. Even as much as we've gone down, he's still knocking. You know why he's still knocking? Because there are still some people, still some prophets that have not bowed their knee to Baal. I'm telling you, time coming if they do not turn. God said, I don't care. This is it. Put Jeremiah chapter 51. See, we're, we're going from Isaiah to, to Jeremiah now. These prophets are prophesying of today. And you people can't see this. Oh, that's just the Old Testament. It's not just the Old Testament. This is history. This is what's going to happen to us. God forewarns us in His Word, but they're changing the Word so it meets their sin. Let me ask you all a question all over the world. What are you going to do when that light goes out of that lighthouse? Guess who the lighthouse is? Guess what the light is? Jesus. What are you going to do when that light goes out? And it's coming. It ain't going to be Baptist, Pentecost, Church of Christ. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. Well, I'm, 
I'm talking to a dying nation. And the whole world watching as we go down. It saddens me because I'm an American too. And I know what's going to happen. And it's sad. I have seen it. If you do not turn, God's going to destroy us. You know, first, the, the boss of death sentence that God put in, that, oh, we can't kill anybody. It's all right to kill, kill a human. It's all right to kill a man. But you better not touch that dog. Come on. The life of a dog is more important than that child sitting right there. It's all over the news today about pedophiles. Yep. Yep. And now they want to make it a disease. Yep. And put medicine on it. This goes against God. Yeah. When you kill another person, you're killing part of God. I'm going to speak as a man right now. If somebody molested my little granddaughter, I would hurt her. I'm speaking as a man right now. Because that's what a man's supposed to do. A man is supposed to protect his family. Not somebody over there. I tell you all something. All of you government officials, all of you. Democratic Party, Republican Party, whatever. You go into a she bear's cave and you touch her cub and you, you ain't going to come out of there. Right. She's going to destroy you because that's it's her in her. That's in her. And that's in almost every woman. It is a bona fide woman. She's there to protect her child. Come on. Jeremiah 51, verse 1. Thus said the Lord. You notice I didn't say, Thus said Brother Bobby. Thus said the Lord. Behold, I will raise up against Babylon. Hello, Babylon! And against them that dwell in the midst of them, that rise up against me a destroying wind. <laughs> you know, I believe it's Lake Charles just last couple of weeks ago. God almost destroyed that yeah. place. Yeah. By the wind. Yeah. It wasn't a tornado, it was wind. And you think you're all so good. God can take us out like that. That's right. Yeah. God controls the wind. Mm -hmm. God controls the rain. God controls it all. He don't control you though because he gave you a free reign. Yes. So, you say, come on in Satan. We're going to sit down, rise up and play. Because I don't believe there's a God anymore. He don't hear us. No, he won't hear you as long as you're sitting there filthy in sin. Or <laughs> pronouncing his name. And, and was sin under Babylon banners. Banners. Hello, BLM. Hello, BLM. Banners. He's banning. They're banning. Banning destruction. And you people can't see this. I'm not, I'm not speaking against people. I'm speaking against this movement. And what's so sad, a lot of these people are innocent. Because they just follow along. Not knowing the outcome. Because they never were taught godly principles. That shall fan her and shall empty her land. You think we'd better wake up. Look what's happened to Portland, Oregon. They're burning it halfway down. Yeah. Look at California. I, I warned California a little over a month ago that hell was coming. 
I warned them right here. You think anybody listened? You know, my mom has been dead for 10 years now. But she said, she said, my son, let me tell you something. She said, ever since you told people and told my, us that the fires were destroyed, California has been fire after fire after fire. This comes from my mother's mouth. I am try, I'm here to warn you people. That's what God has raised me up to do, is to warn the people. There ain't very many watchmen on the wall. There's not many blowing the trumpet. The trumpet is the warning of the danger. Mm -hmm. There's not many, but there's a few left. For in, in the day of trouble, they should be against their roundabout. You don't think we're not, we're not in trouble? You don't think America's in trouble? Yeah, we, we can't even agree on anything anymore. We got blacks and white fighting one another. We got white and white fighting one another. We got white fighting Mexican, Mexican fighting each other. All this is happening. Yes. Yeah. This is happening in America. It's not just in other nations. It's in America now. Well, it could never happen in America. Well, you better wake up. It's here. It's here. The, the men and women of families, father and mother, Daddy and Mom are not teaching their children about God. All right. Against him that bended, let the archer bend his bow. The bow, the archer, is a danger, destruction. When he lets that. Bow go, uh, that bow go and the air flies out. That air is called destruction. And every time it hits that wall that with a hole in it, it's bigger. Letting all kinds of vermin in. Letting all kinds of vile creatures in. That's what a wall is for. It's to protect the city. And it has nothing to do with protecting from another country, country, like this right next door, they ought to join together. Then build a wall around the whole thing. The wall of protection. Jesus. If people get out on our face before God, like they did in 1941, when Tokyo, whoever they were, Japan, bombed Pearl Harbor, God would bring this nation back. America's not perfect, no, by no means. But she was founded on God. Yes. God raised America up as a lighthouse to the world. And we have allowed Satan to come in and the men and women over us to destroy us. Because we would rather sit down and rise up and play. Where was it? Oh, yeah. Now, go to verse 7. Babylon. I'm going to say America, okay? Thank you. I get to choose my words. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's what? Hand. America was in God's hand. She was a golden cup. Listen, used to, before all this nonsense, this trash come out, on TV, when the TV first come out, they wasn't allowed to curse. Men and women were not allowed to sleep in the same bed. They weren't allowed to kiss much. Come on. Now look at it. It's nothing but pornography. And the people like it that way. And the cartoons that they dropped about being so bad, like Bugs Bunny, 
and the stupid coyote chasing the roadrunner was evil, but now we got monsters. We got demonic cartoons, and when the, the family said, oh, well, it's all right for them to watch. Even though it's entering their body, it's okay. This is what's wrong with America. She, is, she was a well-favored cup in God's hand, and now she has gone out of God's hand in the hands of Satan. Oh, Babylon. Babylon. That's who we are. That made all the earth drunken. Every nation under the sun, every nation, has prospered from the United States. Come on. It's the truth. We, any time that they were in trouble, what we what we do? We win. And we tried with everything we had to deliver them from the evil that was there to kill them. Where are they at now to protect us? We were the strongest nation in the world yeah. ever been known. Especially with defense and army. Yes. And God. God was ahead of that. And we've thrown God out. Now we got the army. Army without a leader. I'll never get the vision God gave me of General McElroy. I'll never get his name. We were in some city that had been bombed, tore all pieces. And this General McElroy, he had these guns, and there were five or six of us men. And he handed us these white guns. And about that time, these people jumped out of them burned out buildings, and they had black guns, and they started firing. And all of a sudden, he said, fire, we go click, click. And the Lord spoke to me in that vision. He said, my son, my preachers are not giving my people anything to fight with. Come on. Made them all earth, earth drunk. The nations have drunk of her wine. What wine? Riches, spiritual. God, any time a nation was in need, we sent our people, our missionaries, yeah. and many of them were killed. Yes. But nobody thinks anything about it. Oh well, it just not thing happening. Sad. Therefore, the nations are mad. Yeah, look at them speaking against America. They're, they're drunk. They're wheeling. They're speaking out of them against America. I told them when I was in the third grade, I had no idea what I was saying at the time. I didn't know I was to stand up like this. In the third grade, everybody's so worried about Russia. My name was called Cold War. I was just a child. And they're all worried about Russia bombing us. I said, no, you don't have to worry about Russia. You better worry about China. I didn't know who China was. I said, she's the red dragon. That was when I was in the third grade. I didn't know what China was. But I know what she, it is today. It is a devil fixing to come in with the others and it's going to be totally famous. And you people don't realize it. And you expect one man in a white house to take care of all of them. It has nothing to do with the white house. It has to do with you. It has to do with you. Because you have forsaken God. And you don't think there's a recompense? You don't think there's a, a, a payment? When you make a vow to God, you better not break it. America made a vow to God when it was founded. George Washington made a vow to God. Made the American people make a vow to God. Come on. Go into history and find it. It's there. They made a vow to God. 
before he would take president. He said, before I do this, you've got to give America to God. Come on. Of course, even when we give America to God, Satan comes with it. When you go to church, most churches, Satan comes with it. Because why? Because he's usually behind the pulpit. Come on. If they're not teaching anything other than Jesus Christ, they are not of God. If they're teaching things of this world, they're not of God. Now we got these things called uh, dating series. Now we got, you know, we, we have to date this way, this way, this way. Just come on, we'll, we'll get you a mate. God's not a dating office. God is not a dating office. It says, train up a child in the way to go. When he grows old, he'll come back to that training. You training. You training. Not the churches. You training. Therefore, the nations are mad. Why? Because they're drunk. They're drunken of our wine. They're drunk of our riches. They're drunk of everything we've given. And they're drunk with it. And we lay up with the hangover. But verse 11. Make bright the arrows. Gather the shields. The Lord has raised up the spirit of the kings of Medes. For his device is against Babylon. I'm here to tell you who the Medes are. The Medes are the Isis. The Assyrians. The Arabic. The Muslims. But you want to believe this or not, you take it up with God. I'm telling you, that's what this is. We, as a people, we, as a people, let the hole grow bigger. And we have allowed them to come on in with the Trojan horse. And while we went to bed, and slept, and not going to church, we went to bed. Well, most of us sleep in church anyway. But anyway, they went to sleep. All the time we slept, we let our ungodly leaders bring in all the Eastern religions yeah. of the world. Islamics, Hinduism, Muslims, all of them. We let them come on in. They said, that's okay, you just get it. We give you all of this as long as you come in. Because we got to be in power, so y'all come on in. Keep us in power. I'm just telling you how it is. I'm very power. You can build your temples. You know this holy ground. You can still build your temples. That's okay. If you build them temples, and we'll bow down to them, and we'll take Jesus out. You know, have y'all ever prayed on why I'm not you will like? I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you, God is coming. Jesus is coming for His people that have made themselves ready for Him. And you know what? The city's got a wall around it. And it don't have a hole in it. The city of New Jerusalem has a wall around it. And they're not going to be able to climb over that wall. There'll be no fornicator, no drunkard, no witches, no government officials in there unless they are reborn. Now, what would happen? They let them build their temples on holy ground. 
And now, that wasn't good enough. See, the temples wasn't good enough. So now they put them over here, over us. Yeah. Bringing in their ungodly. Yes. Come on. Yep. Tell y'all something about Satan. Satan was the most subtle creature in the garden. Yeah. He would do anything he had to do to take you down. And he's done. Yes. Now he don't do nothing. But all of his imps have killed the people. Yeah. All the locusts of hell have been released. Stinging people. So what are we going to do? Verse 12. I'm almost done. Set up the standard upon the wall of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Huh. Not us. We're not going to uh -uh. We're not going to make it strong. It's too late. Set up the watchman. He's trying to warn us. Set up the watchman. Prepare the ambushes for the for the Lord that both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. It's coming, y'all. He's trying to tell us, set up, set up, set up your watchmen. Because danger's here. Danger's coming. Destruction's coming. When they say peace, peace, set destruction coming. You preachers, go ahead. Go ahead, preach peace. Go ahead and preach prosperity. Go ahead and preach it. Oh, we'll come out of this smelling like a rose. You go ahead and preach this. God has raised me up the same as Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel to tell you people you better quit listening to these false prophets. And you better get out of your face before God and start fasting and prayer and find out what's wrong. I'm not Isaiah, Jeremiah. I'm Brother Body. But I'm here to tell you I'm a son of God. Yes. And you better start acting like you're the sons of God. Those that believe, He left them power to become the sons of God. He didn't say, I left you power to become a Christian. I left you power. The power of the Holy Ghost in you. As long as you keep Him entangled in a refrigerator, He can't move. You know what bothers me, brother? The Pentecostal movement, as they call themselves, yeah. has destroyed so many people of God. It breaks my heart. And the Baptists done it too. And I got news for all of you. When you get saved, you become a new person. Yeah. And your life starts right there. But you can walk away from that life. You can walk away from God. God will turn His face from you when you start sinning. Of course, the preachers tell you you sin every day. We're sinners. That's what they say. I've heard them say it. Say it. If you believe that, you'll be marching right into hell with them. Because you can walk away from God anytime you want. Anytime. None of us are infallible. God can pull His Spirit from us just like that. Why? Because you cannot fill it with the ungodly trash. Expect God to be there. You defile the temple, God will destroy the temple. And it won't be with a whip like He did when Jesus walked the face of the earth. This is the temple. This is the temple. The other is just a building that will be destroyed. But anyway, go in God. I love you all.